Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a foodie inspired soap using this fragrance from Brambleberry. It's Lemon Bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is buttery and lemony and it's delicious smelling. So what I've got in mind is I'm thinking lemon bars. Um, I want to do a crust on the bottom and so I have this gingerbread brown mica from Wholesale Supply Plus. So I'll pour a layer on the bottom for the crust and then for the lemony portion I'm going to use yellow vibrance and a little titanium dioxide because this fragrance does discolor a little bit. It says that it discolors to a tan so I want to keep it on the lighter side. If it discolors a little that's okay but um, so with the yellow and the TD and I'm going to be adding some poppy seeds because my daughters and I love lemon poppy seed, pretty much anything, cake, muffins, you name it. <laughs> so this is for my girls. I'm putting poppy seeds in this lemon bar. Uh, and then I think I'm just gonna do a scoopy top and I have a little shimmer white mica that I'll put on the top to sort of look like um, powdered sugar. Anne Marie at Brambleberry did a lemon bar and that kind of inspired me because this is their fragrance and um, oh man, it just makes my mouth water. So. Uh, let me see for the liquid portion. I'll be using goat milk. I thought with a foodie theme I wanted to use goat milk in this so it'll be a goat milk lemon bar Get everything pulled together here and let's come back and make some food inspired Lemon poppy seed soap. All right, I'm back and I've got all the prep work done and in my oils and butters here I have um, kale and clay colloidal oats and the fragrance. That's what's going on in here. And over here in my goat milk solution, I have Tussa silk fibers, sodium lactate, and a little bit of titanium dioxide to keep things on the lighter side. And again, this fragrance does have um, discolor to a tan, it says. So um, just wanna keep it on the lighter side. Let's run it through the strainer here because I am using goat milk and I wanna make sure I don't have any milk solids or whatever getting in there. Nice and smooth is what we want. And I will hand stir this and then uh, pour off for my little brown crust. And depending on how the batter's behaving, I have my little frosting comb here that I might run across just to make it pretty. But I'm not completely set on that. We'll just see, play it by ear, see how it goes. Oh, this fragrance. <laughs> I really wish y'all could smell it. If you like lemony things, give it a give it a go. Brambleberries lemon bar, it's wow, it's fantastic. All right, let's get this out of here. Hand stir this up. Put a little jar here. Just going for emulsion. And again, emulsion is when all of the oil molecules bind with all of the lye solution molecules and it's fully incorporated. And you can do it hand stirring if you're not having any ricing issues. Um, you know, a stick blender is great, but it, it is, you can get emulsion with hand stirring that I don't want to see any traces of oil pockets. Um, once it's all fully Incorporated, you won't see any oil wisps on top. And I think, I think we've got it. So now I'm gonna pour off for my gingerbread brown on the bottom. I'm not sure how much I wanna do with that. That's probably good. Make a nice thick crust and I'll just set that off to the side. Let's get my brown. This is such a beautiful toasty color. Okay, and I am going to stick blend this because I want a nice trace going on the bottom part. Burp the blender, that's why I tap it, I'm getting all the air bubbles out. Let's get this poured down here on the bottom. And then I can run my little frosting comb over it. Time 
to do our lemon part. Um, I have my poppy seeds here. I'll put about a tablespoon of poppy seeds in. It's the next day and I'm going to unmold these wonderful goat milk bars and this is what I did with the leftover um, that I scraped off the top of the bottom, made these little owls and I just take a rag and clean up any sharp edges from over pour and look at how adorable these little guys are. Aren't they just the cutest? They just tickle me. Anyway, they smell awesome. Let's get into the loaf here and see what we've got. they look oh they're pretty and just kind of simple but let me tell you what if you like lemon this scent do yourself a favor and get some it smells amazing today these smell divine and I'm not seeing any discoloration marks are on the outside so I think the TD took care of any um, discoloration issues that might be cropping up so I'm happy. These are wonderful. My daughters are going to love these. <laughs> mm -hmm. 